um, force master item uh, in terms of the uses of the product, uh, but also to get the history of the data, which, uh, which we also introduce an app for it. I'm here at Regofix with Pascal to talk about the force master, which is something everybody should really look at. So, Pascal, what is the force master and what we're we using it for? Well, first of all, thank you for coming here, Tom. It's a pleasure to have you on our booth here at the AMO. Uh, the Force Master is basically a new metrology setup that we are bringing as a new product lineup in our portfolio. We're talking here about the possibility to measure forces, spindle forces. So the retraction force of your spindle can be measured in real time with our Force Master item. So what advantages does that give customers being able to measure them forces? It's important that you check regularly your spindle, not just in terms of accuracy, concentricity, run out, but also in terms of clamping forces. It is normal that the spindle is losing some clamping force over time, or if you are setting up the machine in a new place or in a new location, it's important that you check if all things from the spindle side, in terms of accuracy, as well in terms of force, is being measured. And that's something that we are now presenting here at the AMO with a very easy to use um, force master item uh, in terms of the uses of the product, but also to get the history of the data, which, the, which we also introduce an app for it. Now, you mentioned concentricity. What are some of the advantages if your machine has a lower run out compared to a machine that, let's be honest, can be quite old, may have a damaged spindle? So if you had this device and you could check your machine and, and get it running right, what are the advantages of having a spindle with a better concentricity? Well, you're losing accuracy. If you're losing accuracy, you're going to have maybe an excessive tool wear out. You're maybe going to lose uh, some, some accuracy on your workpiece, meaning maybe you're going to have some surface finishing problems. You're going to have chatters, and eventually you're going to damage even your spindle. So it's very important that you know with what kind of tooling you're working inside your CNC, CNC machine, especially when you're talking also high RPMs. So looking at this, if, you, if, if there's people at home watching this, and they're having problems with accuracy, like you said, surface finish. They've got chatter on the machine they just can't seem to get rid of with different tooling. Then, to me, this should be the next step, checking your spindle. And then, obviously, like you said, if you're buying a machine, a second-hand machine probably more, and having it delivered, you don't know what that machine's been through in its past. No. You so this is a great tool to give you a starting point of getting your machine up and running in the right direction. It is one possibility that you yourself, as an end user of the product of the machine, is checking the accuracy and the run out and the forces of your spindle, or you work together with maybe a shop where you bought the machine or the machine tool builder itself. They are responsible that the tools that you're using and the spindle is a, is a key parameter in your entire application process is working properly. And we really try to figure out how can we make this as easy, as comfortable as possible, and with the Force Master, where we see it later uh, live, I think we have brought out a very good solution. So, last question before I finish. How easy is this to use? Well, basically, it's a two-button system. You can't make anything wrong. Everything is being supervised by the application itself, which you can download in the Apple Store or the Google Store, and you can then track your history. You can set up different parameters for different types of machine. So even if you're having a shop with 50 or 100 CNC machine, you can individually set up the parameters. When do you need to do the rechecking of these machines? What are the individual forces? And when it's even recommended to do a service on your spindle?